Hi, this is a recipe for Chinese style chicken with spring onion and fresh ginger. This is one of my favourites. I've been doing this sauce for the last 10 years and it's brilliant, honestly. I make a big batch of it for about 8 portions. I usually have this and my wife has about well, she has her sweet and sour. So let's get to it. <laughs> right, for the sauce you need a tablespoon of corn flour. Now I had the original recipe for this is about for four, so I've doubled this recipe up. You want about four tablespoons oyster sauce. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, about four tablespoons. Now the original recipe wants uh, rice wine. I've not got rice wine, so a dry sherry is a good substitute. Five hundred milliliters of good chicken stock, a teaspoon is sugar and about half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. Now, I was saying my other recipes, what once you've done this a few times, you can adjust it to your own taste. Right, I'll get on with this. For the main ingredients for the the Chinese style chicken with spring onion, fresh ginger. I use about a, a bunch of, we call these saibis in Scotland, spring onions or salad onions. I would use, that's quite a big bit of ginger. I'd probably maybe use about that much in the wee sort of matchsticks. About three cloves, three or four cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Two green peppers and that's about 250 grams of mushrooms. I'll use about half that packet of mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms. And in the fridge, I've still got the, the chicken. It's about 900 grams of chicken thigh. You better the chicken thigh with this. This is the chicken thigh for the, the chicken, spring onion, and ginger. Now, what a day, I just can't eat, can't eat chunks. And any sort of excess fat, you trim that off. Like that, you might be eating that. Right, so I'll get all that done, I've got another thigh there. Now, what you have to do as well, well, about 20 minutes before you're going to cook this, you tenderise it in some vegetable oil and corn flour. You let that sit in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Right, I'll get the rest of this. That's that. I meant to say that, that was chicken thigh fillet. So that's our cut. And what a day, I, I used a plastic container it came in. It's a point of dirt in another, another tub. Just put in like that. I always keep one hand clean when I'm working the chicken. That's vegetable oil I've got now. Let's just let it run out. Just a sprinkle. thinly coated with the, the vegetable oil and just a sprinkle uh, like a spoon of uh, corn flour work that in and 
thing is as well, that'll help thicken your sauce, that corn flour. And if it's a bit dry, just another wee sprinkle. You know when it's swimming in oil, maybe just another wee drop of that. Now you could cover that and stick it in the fridge for about 40 minutes, something like that. The veg to go in with the, the chicken spring onion. That's about the, the size of the ginger I use. I'll slice that off. You got the veg prepped for the, the chicken, the spring onion and ginger. And I keep everything sort of chunky, because when you, you start cooking it down, it, it, you don't want it going away at nothing. This is the sauce now. In there, I've got two good stock cubes. That's about a 800 millilitres of water. And into that, you want to put about four tablespoons of oyster sauce. Two tablespoons each of light soy sauce. Well, that's the dark soy sauce. Light soy sauce. Two tablespoons of I'm sorry about that, I thought I did two tablespoons of sherry. Dry sherry. About a teaspoon full of sugar. Tablespoonful of corn flour and a good shake of white pepper. Give that a good stir up. Taste. Right, the next step of the chicken with spring onion and ginger is put some vegetable oil in a. I use a big cast iron pot for this. I used to use a wok like that. Right, so I'm putting the, the ginger in.
Oh, I've got about spring onion now. So you want to fry that for a few minutes. Yeah. You put that in for a couple of minutes. You didn't want any colour on it. It's basically just to soften it, soften it up, and on a plate. Right, that's the garlic in. Put that up. Yeah. Not bad. Right, in with the chicken. If it starts to stick, just that we've got water in the bottom of the pot. And the chicken starts to change colour. You're on still on the cool blast heat here. And with uh, green peppers. And the mushrooms. Many times you think I've done this recipe as well. Speak. 20. Who eats it all? Speak. One for yes and two for no. I'm going to bury it. Right, we're getting there. So that's that. And like that. The next thing we want to do is put the ginger back in. Put the water on there for my noodles. And the spring onion.
name of this sauce. Okay, what you have to do with that is bring that to the boil. Right, I brought that to the boil. It's been on a sort of simmer for about five minutes, and that, that's it ready. You see how thick the sauces went. So that's that ready. That's my one ready as well. Chinese style chicken with fresh ginger and spring onion. I serve my noodles tossed in some sesame oil and dark soy sauce. Delicious. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my recipes. Bye.